victory in the making. A former president facing more than three dozen federal charges. Donald Trump pleaded not guilty in Miami Tuesday. KCBD News Channel 11's Sidney Lowther spoke with a former federal defense attorney here in Lubbock to better understand the unsealed federal indictments. And, and Sidney, this is really a lot to understand. We're talking about 37 th felony charges, right? That's exactly right, Karen and Abner. This indictment claims former President Trump willfully withheld, corruptly concealed, and schemed to conceal classified documents in a federal investigation, along with making false statements. The documents the documents the former president is accused of taking to Mar-a-Lago contained information regarding defense and weapon capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries. That gives incredible window into our mentality, our psychology, uh, what we think our capabilities are, what our strategies would be, and they could, aha, apply that in a different scenario. 31 of the 37 charges Trump has been accused of stem from the Espionage Act, which is a 1917 law usually known for condemning spies who disclose classified information to the media or used it to harm the United States. But the Espionage Act is bigger than espionage. The mishandling of documents that deal or that are related to our national defense. The indictment list counts 1 through 31 as willful retention of national defense information. So what does that mean for Trump defense? It's that first word, willful. That's a very special word in federal criminal law. It means you know you're breaking the law when you do this. Just by keeping these things, he'd amassed. Uh, that that it, he wasn't violating a known legal duty. He's not that smart. Um, that would be the attack there. But the answer to that is he caused others to, he gave the orders. The indictment alleges Trump held conversations with family members, attorneys, and staffers, including his personal aide, Walt Nada, who is also charged with six counts, including obstruction, concealing, and withholding. In many of these conversations, Trump claimed he had classified information, and the indictment alleges that information was shared with individuals who did not have the security clearance to know. It's going to be people talking to each other about what Trump said, which is a neat hearsay problem. But if they're alleging conspiracy, which they are in some of these counts, that works around those hearsay problems. Count 37 claims Trump intentionally made false statements and representations when an attorney came to retrieve classified documents in response to a grand jury subpoena. She signs the certification and says the, the boxes that they actually did turn over uh, were all clean and there was nothing in them. The indictment claims when the attorney came to gather documents with classified markings, Trump concealed boxes by moving them elsewhere. She had no way of knowing that when she made that statement, and that that's why they say President Trump caused that uh, certification, false certification, to be done. The former president pleaded not guilty to all 37 felony accounts, and his lawyers asked for a jury trial. A date for that has not yet been set, and Trump's former aide, Walt Nada, is not set to be arraigned until June 27th. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Sydney.